So you want me to save my intro for a little bit, or doesn't uh, matter? You can start it whenever. So whenever the game starts, or whenever that is, just start talking. Okay, and don't stop. <laughs> don't stop at the end. And uh, we'll just stop at halftime, too. Take a breather. Yeah. Do you want me to start at halftime? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just make sure you hit the So are we on the other? No. Yep. Oh, we are. Recorded. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frank Forty Field here in Beverly, Massachusetts on the campus of Beverly High School. BevCamp Sports Network will bring you today the Northeastern Conference boys soccer matchup between the Beverly uh, host Beverly High School Panthers and the visit uh, Panthers and the visiting Peabody Tanners. Peabody comes into the match at five one and one. Beverly at three one and three and three. My name is Al Visnick, and I'm here with Chris Hemsey today to bring you all the action. Chris, beautiful day for some soccer. Big rivalry match typically between Beverly and Peabody. Uh, what do you expect from today? First of all, it's good to be back, Al. I love being out here, seeing the boys play. It's been many years on the sideline with you, so it's good to be back for, for one last one as the boys are seniors. But Peabody and Beverly, regardless of record or talent, or scheme, always, 100% of the time, play each other very physically, very hard. So there's going to be, I think, regardless of what, where all the boys are playing in positions, I know that both teams are going to come out uh, going 100%. There's going to be a very physical game. Refs may or may not try and keep that in check early and keep them honest, so to speak. But, but I do foresee... Some good soccer, but very, very, very physical. Yeah, it should be very interesting. Uh, the strength of the Panthers uh, this year has lied primarily on their defensive play. Uh, in both of their matches last week, uh, they kept clean sheets, both against uh, Winthrop and Swampscott. And uh, that uh, defensive uh, capability or acumen, if you will, uh, will come into play, I'm sure, today. Uh, Peabody has just been uh, scoring goals in bunches. Uh, they play a possession style type of game and they're very adept at finishing. And uh, frankly, uh, the final third in finishing has been one of our weakest spots so far this season. Uh, though the boys are creating chances, uh, they just need to take that next step and put it in the back of the net. Yeah, I definitely think that that aspect of the game is something they have improved on throughout the six or so games that they've played. Certainly even in that first couple of games where they would, even their defensive third kind of let up a couple of goals I know that they wish they could have back but hey that's that's part of the game I do think they have been figuring it out Edgar has always been uh, kind of starts the season trial and error with some position to see what fits and they, they too play a possession style of ball they move the small ball very well switch fields which is beautiful but hopefully they keep that momentum they got from last week and get some opportunities on goal which even in that uh, Swampscott game they had tons of opportunities I think they scored three or four goals, but they had more important. They, they had good offensive looks, good op offensive opportunities with several of the boys. Yeah, and I think that's a real step up for the boys if we look at the first two matches of the year, especially the opener against Mask and Amit. Uh, complete domination of possession. Um, they had chances. Uh, they weren't able to finish some quality saves by the Mask go goalkeeper. A little bit of bad luck with the woodwork involved. And then, uh, you know, then they, you know, surrender one against the run of play. And it's so difficult to dominate possession, create opportunities and not finish. And then, you know, give one up and go down right away. So um, yeah, it's tough. It's a tough game to, to play catch up to. It sure is. That um, first goal is so important. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the three games uh, that we've scored, the first goal have all been wins. And the three games that we haven't have all been in the right hand column yeah. <laughs> so yeah no, it's, it's it's been it's been a, a fun team to watch improve and the, i know the season is probably around a third of the way through but they have improved each each uh each set each game which is really what they're looking for and i know edgar has, has spoken to that he um he does believe that the, the boys are in control of their own fate here on the field so if they do what they're what they know they're capable of doing get some opportunities put some balls on that, maybe good things happen, and lock it down in the back, 
they're they're uh, they're very excited for the prospect, not only against Pee Wee, against anybody, really, quite frankly. Yeah, one hundred percent. Right, it always comes down to execution. Yep. So you can control the things that you can control, play your game, and usually good things happen. Yeah, it looks like they're coming out with a three four three, which is is also something that would suggest that. He likes. He wants to get more pressure up front with his three people, uh, three strikers, and also he trusts Trevor, uh, Paulo, and 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 Misha is now back left there. He trusts those three boys. They've been playing very well together. And that's what we'll start in the back. The uh, center back is Paulo Bukio, uh, with Trevor Gilligan on his right, and Misha Creekin on the left. Yeah, Max Hemsey here, number nine. It's also in a new position. Oh, Set, Max, good idea. Chips six. one in, uh, snagged by the uh, Peabody goalkeeper. Yeah, it looks like Max is in a newer position for him at the left midi. And also Trevor hasn't seen uh, right back this year yet, though last right. year he did a fantastic job towards the end of the season in that position. And it also looks like Bryce Lee has moved up to the uh, wing back or outside mid in this 3-4-3 uh, three, three, um, lineup. And of course, you have Ian and Owen. Uh, in the midfield, yep. now with Max and Bryce. The and big toe, as you were, as it were. <laughs> and we have uh, Wilson De Leon and Yayan and Mateo. Uh, Mateo uh, Bionano, one of the exchange students here, like Paolo Bucciccio, uh cracking the starting lineup here for the Panthers. So early on, we have the uh, cross in from Max Hemsey, but most of the play here uh, limited to the midfield. Uh, Peabody throws it in. Anthony Forty, number four. Good player, plays about 15 months a year. <laughs> He's been one of Peabody's staples for the last couple of years. Yeah, a lot of familiar names for us coming through all of those uh, youth games that we coached over the years. Yeah, it's, no uh, doubt. It's certainly nice to see our own boys uh, growing up and making it through the high school ranks, but it's also fun to see the kids that we've watched grow up in the other towns play as well. Owen with a nice stab there. Nice tackle, takes it, controls it to Bryce. Good ball up from Wilson. Cleared away by the Peabody defense. That's a great step there by Trevor Gilligan, showing his ability to get forward out of that spot. Uh, Trevor's used to you know, pushing it up. He's going to have to temper that certainly by playing uh, that right center back in the three back set. Absolutely, there's no one be, behind him. Be, he, he may yeah. get some some safety usually playing the midfield is with someone one. at least behind him with some right. speed. But now he's got to play tough but be smart with when you're going to commit to a tackle. Also going to need recognition uh, on Trevor's uh, case by Bracely to recognize when he goes forward he's going to have to cover for him. And uh, the same on this side with uh, Max, uh, depending on how Misha positions himself. You know, okay. Coach Delian has done a, uh, a, a job, a good job, I think, throughout the first six games. He's really tested the boys that are not injured because they, they Beverly, in seemingly in typically fashion, has a, had a lot of injuries. But he's really tried a lot of kids in a lot of positions so that no one's coming on that bench without experience at some very high level of soccer. There's a long ball up ahead on the right way from Mateo, but that just runs out of bounds. Throw in for Peabody. Beautiful slide tackle by Mateo. Over to Bryce Lee. Back to Owen. Over to Ian. Ball in to Mateo. Nice soft touch to Wilson and good defending by Peabody. Traditionally over the years, Chris Peabody has always been a very strong defensive side and uh, judging by the scores this year, that's certainly going to be the case. Yeah. Good battle with Misha and uh, Bruno Correa for Peabody. Bruno has been the name we've 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 definitely played with Bruno for years and years and years. And he's having a very good season on uh, the offensive end with five goals already. You got to get the rid of that ball quicker there. Peabody's not going to let you dribble around the ball in traffic. No, time, yep. and, time and space will be at a premium today. Yep. No question about that. And Beverly has looked very, very, very good this year when they have gotten rid of the ball quickly. 
their players are in the right positions and they're looking to make these runs right here. Here goes and Wilson, some speed. Back to Wilson. Yayan is underneath it with a header. Mateo, Mateo. shoots Ooh. just wide. First quality chance of corner the match. Kick. So Beverly will have the first corner kick of the day. Uh, but like you say, Chris, when Beverly, and I guess all teams, when they connect the dots, move the ball quickly, make the correct runs, they'll generate chances. Yeah, you know, these these boys, every everybody in the NEC really in these schedules are filled with talent, right? They play a very good high level with a lot of club players. They're playing many months a year. They're playing a high level of soccer. So, so if you do what you're supposed to be doing, good things happen, right? And I guess that's, that's right. the, that's. Uh, Max Hempsey going to take the corner for Beverly. Looks like it'll be a left-footed out swinger. Comes screaming across. Williams gets a piece of it. There's a shoot and a goal oh. for the Panthers. Mateo, top Mateo right. Bonato. And Beverly has drawn first blood here at Frank 40 Field. A big opening goal for the Panthers. A great uh, corner kick taken by Max Hempsey. Brought down very nicely by Ian Williams. And over to Mateo with a great finish uh, uh, above a, a leaping defender and to the left of the Peabody keeper. Yeah, it was just out of his reach. I mean, he would have had to have been six foot five and in the perfect position to even make a play of that keeper. Yeah. That was a very good placement. But it's good, you know, sometimes good stuff happens on the on the corner kicks. I don't know if Beverly's had too many goals off a of corner kick, so it's nice to see. Call Max for a little hold there. Free kick by Jaden. Jaden fill the same with the kick. Goes to midfield, one by Owen. The nice header. My second dumb cliche comment I'd like to make is also Beverly is their entire game has been better when they win 50 50 balls versus letting being a little bit more passive. Looks like we have uh, Bryce Lee down, might have got a kick to the lower body or maybe the midsection. Yeah, we'll call it a hand. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Mateo trying to play it back to Wilson. And there's Trevor with 27. Held up there by Ian Viznik. Who's there? And guy? that's going to go Arita. for a goal kick. Going for a goal kick. Referee has said it comes off Peabody last. I mean, uh, I believe him, Al. We I have to. It's the, the it's the only one that matters. I'm on the brand new bleachers here. I mean, I got the vantage point clearly off Peabody. Beverly starting goalkeeper Matt Roy will take the goal kick. Ball bounces in there. Yeah, making a play out on Peabody. Hemsey number nine with the throw in. And uh, Yayan with the kick right to the outside. It's amazing how difficult uh, throw ins are to keep. <laughs> <laughs> it seems. At times, right? And there's another one that's turned over. Mateo Nice for pass. Wilson. Here's Wilson. He's going to try to give it back to him, but goes a little askew. An easy save what we for call uh, Paul Drillin. Owen McCarthy with a great step tries to head that down to himself. I think Owen and Anthony Forty all day are going to be fighting one another in a good way. They've been, uh, they're both their center midfields. I think they've been challenging each other throughout the first six or so minutes here in the game. Uh, and there's a turnover deep in the Beverly end. Trevor works hard to get it back. And I think he hit that off of Peabody, I believe, for Panther throw-in. Good to see Bryce Lee bounce right back after that. Hamstring. Hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> Paulo to, to Ian, to Hemsey. Hemsey looking at Yayan, Yayan making a run. Well and defended by uh, Jaden, Phil the same. Yeah, shielding Who him. sees that ball out. 
shielded him nicely there. Giant had no play on that. It would have been good on a grass field, not so much on turf. So the same with the goal kick, one by Ian Visnick. Right to Mateo. Right to Mateo. It Mateo down. takes Very it down. Nicely. Iron over to Owen. We need somebody on the right wing, and here comes our outside midfielder, Bryce, Bryce. Lee, and just out of bounds. Difference there, you know, just inches, you know, as you string things together. Absolutely. That's I mean, the difference between playing a feet and space, right? Once you're playing a space, it's it's just the game of inches. Yeah, right hard there. to do along the touchline for sure. Yeah. There's a nice step over by Mateo back to Ian. Ian out to the left wing to Max Hemsey. Max back inside uh, to Ian, but picked off by Jaden. Feel the same. Here comes Ian Visnick uh, with a tackle, and it's going to be a throw in. Bruno Correa with the ball. Beverly showing some high pressure early here, Chris, that seems to be highly effective in keeping the ball in this half of the pitch. So far, so good. Keep their legs. You know, probably with both teams, it's uh, sometimes with soccer, you don't want to substitute by committee, right? If, you, if you're feeling that the 10 or 11 boys in the field have somewhat of a, have something going, which is resulting in positivity, it's tough when you see those first couple of subs in there and see how that may change the the, the overall uh, cohesion of the team that's on the Yeah, pitch. chemistry is uh, often talked about word and s sometimes hard to quantify. A, c a coach knows it when he finds it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hard to say what you're yeah. missing, but when you see it, it you, you know. know it. I got you. Trevor coming back very nicely on, I want to say that was John Aruda on their left wing, who's very fast, very talented kid. And uh, the leading goal scorer for the uh, Tanners, uh, my, my count, 11 goals so far this season from what I've been able to pull together. Yep, he'll be just playing good soccer this year. They've, they've beaten, oh, I guess that's not hard to see with some of those moves we just saw Ruta do in the box there. Very good feat. Um, from what I understand, he's uh, just came to the Peabody community from Brazil this year and has certainly uh, been a, a welcome addition. Uh, especially with the unfortunate injury to Eastern Mass All-Star, Victor Maciel uh, appears to have a ACL injury to his knee during his senior year, which is certainly a shame. Yeah, that is definitely a shame. Matty Roy making out. a play on it. Wilson's there. And Beverly just clears the line. Mateo's using some energy. Uh, nice play by the goalkeeper to come out, see if he could kind of catch Beverly on a counter attack, but the boys did a nice job of getting forward quickly. You know, and uh, it's another thing in the beginning of the season, those corner kick defensive plays by Beverly was always trouble to them too. So they brought all three strikers back to help out and they cleared it. All right, here is another corner kick for the Tanners. Can't quite make out who is taking it. That looks like Bruno, but that could also be a complete guess. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Matt Roy, Roy with the coming play. off Very the line good. and another Came punch off his out. line, screamed keep. Aruda has it, tries to get by Wilson Deleon, but cannot. Well defended, but the ball's back on his foot. Makes a move. Help, help defending from Owen McCarthy. And uh, Peabody is, uh, have regained some possession here in the Tanner's half. Something they hadn't been able to do in the first few minutes. Uh, cleared away, but right to uh, number four, Anthony Forte. Ball's chipped in and Misha cleared away by Misha Creakin for a Tanner throw in. Misha's been playing very well, I think, this season as well. Yeah, a lot of boys uh, have really upped their game. Uh, it's a senior-laden senior Beverly team, but not a ton of experience uh, on the varsity till this year. Aruda wheeling, dealing. Oh, gets off a nice pass and a well-struck shot 
by was that 17 Ryan, Ryan Alves Ryan Alves and uh, corralled by Matty Roy Ryan certainly a dangerous player for the Peabody Tanners with a, a couple of goals to his credit so far this year Max Hemsey keeps it in can Yai and Williams win that Jade and Phil the same again, defending on there. expertly. Don't let him turn to Hemsey. Hemsey's got to get rid of it. It's gonna stay in. Yayan's there. Now and it's out. Now it's out. <laughs> Here comes some substitutions for everybody. Looks like we have uh, Declan coming in for Bryce Lee. And it looks like Daniel Weiler for Yayan Williams. A couple of subs were also made for Peabody. I unfortunately didn't quite get the number. Uh, number, I believe, uh, 26, Yanni Pappas just came in for Aiden Pace, I believe. I wasn't sure with the other substitution. There's a attempt by Mateo that would have been three points if it was the other football, but just seals over the bar. Goal kick, Tanners. They play the short ball. And they play it back. Beverly staying patient. Pops it up to number 14. Hemsey's there. 14 is Bruno Correa. Correa? I'm not sure. I think it's I've Correa. Ian Viznik battling with Ryan Alves, able to win nice that ball battle. To Mateo. Daniel with the step. Uh, uh, mean, kept it in. I think the ref missed something there. We're going to have some video enhancement of that line. Another corner kick for the Tanners, uh, their third one. Matt Roy's been able to help the boys out by punching the first two out. Um, it looks like number 14, Bruno Correa, will be taking this one. Beverly marking up, has the front post covered. Max Hemsey looking for the floater. And a nice head away by Paolo. Right back to Bruno, however, who's going to cross it in again. Another oh, header over the bar. Out. That hit the crossbar for the uh, goal post for football, and it will be a goal kick for the Panthers. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Uh, set piece goals have been a little bit of a problem for the Panthers in the 2-0 uh, la loss to Concord Carlisle. Uh, both goals came off set pieces, one off a direct kick that somehow found its way through, and another one uh, off a uh, header. Good goal kick by Matt. Roy bounces around over to Declan McHugh. It's being defended hard. One touch pass by Owen McCarthy. Wilson to working Wilson. hard there with Owen in the middle. Anthony Forty to Bruno. He's going to have to. Misha's got him. And that's a nice move and a shot right there. And they give him another corner. Misha got a piece of it, according to the referee. From our angle, I wouldn't have guessed that because looking at the flight of the ball. But as you said, Chris, he's a lot closer than we are. I didn't say that. He's a homer. <laughs> he's not a homer. <laughs> he's a rotor. <laughs> okay, another chance. Fourth corner kick in short order for the Tanners as they seek to equalize here with uh, 25 right minutes again. left. This could be problems here. It's a nope. shot high again. Uh, that shot taken by number 19, Kyle Lobeo, one of the uh, backs for the, ta for the Tanners. By the eruption of the, the Tanner faithful, clearly a crowd favorite. He has found the uh, back of the net a couple of times this year. So shows that Peabody does keep its shape, pushes up as a unit, and even the backs uh, will get a look at the at goal. Okay, that goal kick uh, sneaks through. Daniel Wilder battling. It looks to be foul to me, and I think the referee would agree with that one. That's going to be a free kick from just 40 yards out. Misha's going to take this one. 
Misha being left-footed, we're going to expect that ball to curl to the left of the Peabody keeper. Beverly's uh, targets all lined up that way. It's a good ball. See if a head could get on it. Oh, Mateo Ma just outside right. Mateo or, or Max, was it Mateo who got that? I'm not sure. They One of the have, two of them. Or as you say, just missed the target. Lettuce. Bring brown lettuce. Yeah. Peabody goal kick is going to be won by Owen McCarthy, who takes a heavy hit and bounces around and back to Peabody. I guess that wasn't so much as a win as getting the first piece of his body on it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Bever uh, Peabody's working it here. They're going to send a, send Bruno, which they've done. Misha's there. Misha making a play. Misha takes the ball outside. And uh, it gets it out of harm's Throwing way. Puberty. You know, it's obvious that Bruno and uh, Aruda on the left side, they're both very talented players, so they're giving, seemingly giving the outside backs on Beverly a little bit of a headache. So I think that that's where a lot of these crotter, uh, corner kicks are, kicks are coming from. There's a no. foul called on Max Hemsey, going to result in a... Uh, Direct kick about 35 yards away from frame. Uh, Bruno Correa will take this with his right foot again. He swept the leg. Oh, a leg sweep. Good wrestling move. <laughs> Old school. Beverly gets that first. Oh, there's a good, good strike by 19. Ian Viznik putting his body in the way. Whether he meant to or not, he did. <laughs> And that will result uh, in a qu another corner. It was, was that 19 who took that? Was that I Kyle? do believe it was 19. Right. Kyle. Kyle. Very good strike. Uh, Would have been, been problematic if it got through. Misha Creekin heads it away, and the Tanners keep the pressure on by keeping the ball inside the Panther end. Another throw in for Peabody. And they're clearly winning the possession game, too, in these last couple of minutes. There's a deft move by Daniel Wilder, who is able to win the ball back and knock it off a Peabody defender so Beverly can attempt to regain possession. Great one-two on, on the throw in with Max a couple and of Daniel. Passes together here. Misha bangs one over the top. Jaden feel the same going up to get it. Uh, Ian, I think, was looking. Looking for Declan. He gets Declan, it. great hustle. Not the direction that I think Ian intended to, but great recovery by Declan. And great work there by Trevor Gilligan. Ian Viznik with the ball up the wing. For, uh, is that Wes? Frederico. Frederico. He snuck C in for uh, C Wilson, I C think. Severino, who was uh, substituted in for Wilson when we weren't looking. Uh, another of the uh, Italian exchange students that are in the Beverly roster. Those three boys have definitely given a great, uh, some great minutes and energy and just good soccer to this Beverly squad. Uh, comes Here comes Peabody on a break. Aruda with the ball being defended by Ian Viznik, takes it away. And that ball is struck over the top by, I think it was Nathan Brass, number 18. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, we're in a tough vantage point with some glare on the sun. Maybe my uh, sunglasses need to be a better quality so I can pick those numbers out. Or, yeah, they're it, could, in or, or it could be my eyes are just getting old. <laughs> Always a possibility. Okay, it looks like we have a timeout here with uh, 20 minutes and 25 seconds left. In the first half, I'm not sure who took that timeout. If it was uh, Beverly or Peabody, but if I were to guess by the way that the uh, field has been tilted downhill towards the Panther end, it was probably Coach DeLeon. I would say that's a good guess. You could definitely see a difference in possessions, just quality of possessions in this last 10 minutes of game time as opposed to the first. And it's led Peabody with a lot of good opportunities the corner kicks are all from a product of good offensive sets that a defender is just flicking and and uh, and and just deflecting out of bounds. So.
they're doing great stuff there. Definitely, though, uh, a change in territorial advantage from uh, the first uh, eight to ten minutes of the game with Peabody uh, making me feel as though they've been quite dangerous the last ten minutes. Uh, five, six corner kicks, um, all defended well by Beverly, but uh, chances there. Beverly's been compact enough. Uh, they defended well enough. They're keeping their shape behind the ball. Uh, so, so far, they maintain that one goal lead. If you're Coach Delion, what are you what are you telling the boys? Uh, go back to what you were doing in the first <laughs> ten minutes. Remain calm. Be calm with the ball. Don't panic. Connect the passes. I think that um, it appears as though that maybe uh, Peabody was on their heels a little bit to start the game, and they weren't expecting that pressing from Beverly. And you know, Beverly scoring early certain certainly put in an urgency into the Peabody boys, and uh, they have been playing uh, very well since uh, Beverly got that first goal. Okay, Here looks like we're ready for the boys. restart. 20 boys within 25 yards. This should be somewhat of a scrum in the middle here. Matty Roy. Going for the directional ball. Max Hemsey called for the foul there. Free kick again being taken by number 14, Bruno Correa. Which is going to be a little shanker right to uh, Arudo in that pile there on the top yeah, of the Yeah, he's 18. in the middle being defended right now by Owen McCarthy. Good ball. Nice Hemsey's header. The head to Danny. Daniel. Daniel tries to keep it and just can't. Runs a little bit away. Throw in by Pappas to Alves. Yeah. Peabody working it around. Nice shot by 17, Ryan Alves. Or Alves, I'm not Elves. sure. It is Alves. Uh, his brother John uh, playing up at uh, St. Anselm's. I believe they have a match tonight up in Manchester, New Hampshire. Look at you with this Saint, research. St. Saint Anselm boys are off to a fantastic start, one of the best in uh, their history, as a matter of fact. A lot, big local flavor on the St. Anselm's boys team. Here goes Mateo, Mateo uh, defended well by Kyle Lobe Lobeo. And that ball just gets off of Mateo and over the end line for a goal kick. This is where Beverly needs to just change the momentum here. Starts with a good 50-50 ball, or at least keeping it in their offensive third. Peabody goes short. Fill the same with the ball, looking around. Ian's there to Mateo. Up to Braz, defended by Viznik. Oh, Mateo sees Owen. Owen. Mateo. Owen, Owen with, with a shot. shot, just wide. Golden opportunity for the Panthers there, just pulled wide. I love it. I love he went to a corner. I love that he kept it down. I really do. Because it was a one-timer. He knew he didn't have time. Peabody was collapsing quick. So it was a good, a good opportunity. Peabody then to play out of the back is pressured by Beverly and turns the ball over. Mac Hemsey, Max Hemsey throws it in to Mateo. Ian and Johnny Alves with a battle. Daniel Weiler with the ball. Owen McCarthy with the directional header just wide of Daniel. We got a step here for Misha Creekin. Paolo with a nice touch to Mateo up top. 40 with some moves back to their center back. Who's assessing who's open, what's going on. Daniel Patient keeping with him in the check. ball. Obviously confident on the ball, good skills. Moves it to number four, Anthony Forte. Back out to the side to Kyle Lobeo. And they're going for a ball straight up the middle and that will be defended by Paolo Ocicchio. The exchange student from Italy. So now he's going to look. They're going to just look to send their forwards. I mean, they've done it 10 times today. They're going to time their run up top. Bruno and uh, Aruda. Both very good with the ball on their foot, too. Back to 16, their center back's been playing well, controlling, and that's Jaden. Phil same. Yeah. 
Swing it to the left side of the field. Everyone seems to be shifting, getting their marks ready. Ball cleared away by Trevor Gilligan. Declan McHugh over to Ian Visnick, who tries to pick out a Here pass down Federico. the right wing. I think that's Federico. Balls to Jaden with tons of space. Tons of space. Beverly's gone away a little bit from pressing up high, dropping back into the middle of the field. So that we need a step there from Max. Well done. Peabody wins it back. They maintain possession. They're patient with the ball, Chris. They and are, but nice we're giving them all the time. Utilizing in the, the backs. Giving yeah. them time in the world. So I don't know if it's patience or our own uh, malaise, but it's either way resulting in too much possession on Peabody. If you know you're a Beverly fan. I guess conversely, it's. it's yeah, Peabody it looks like a conscious it. decision, I would think, because they were pressing up high to start the game, and they look like they've made the decision to drop back. Hopefully a decision's made versus kids getting tired and kids getting complacent. Coach doesn't want to see that. Comes Aruda. And it's I gonna be another it. corner kick for the Tanners, again taken by Bruno Correa. 13 minutes or so left in the half. Bruno with the corner kick. Every single kid in the 18. Headed away by Misha Creekin, who knocks it back over the end line, and Peabody will get their maybe eighth or, or ninth corner kick. I should have been charting this one. It's been an awful lot of them. Slammed out by Paolo. Long shot, I think blocked by Paolo. Hard to see inside that scrum. Yeah, there's a lot of boys there making a play on it, offensive and defensive. Ian with the ball. Feeds Daniel, who's making a run. Probably play it back to the keeper. Nice like and to safe. see the boys getting up right here. Goalkeeper plays it out to the side to Labeo, who surveys it. Now Beverly dropping back a little bit again. Daniel's going, but Mateo did not. I think they're just trying to protect this midfield, but there's too much room right here. Way too much room. Daniel Ooh, making a play I thought Daniel it. was gonna pick that off. It looked like a little bit of a lazy pass into the middle, but works out for the Tanners. That's well defended by Trevor Gilligan, but right on the foot of Anthony Forte. Over to Jaden Philisame, who makes a nice move to get inside Daniel Wilder. Out to Pappas. Peabody definitely winning the possession game at this moment. Yeah, what they're doing is they're staying connected. Right now they have all 10 in their offensive half. Oh, he called keep. Oh, and it was headed. I mean, that's oh. not a surprise. Peabody was very, very, very smart there. They didn't pass one over 20 yards, and they all moved up together. Very patient, very good set right there. Matt Hunt Roy from Matt Roy, just over the head of Owen McCarthy. Uh, kicked back in. Misha with a whiff. He's coming back now on Bruno. And a yet again, guess what it is, Al? It can't be, can it? I'm Another corner you. kick. Corner kicks are us for the Tanners. Here comes Panthers Wilson. are definitely playing with fire with the amount of corner kicks that they are surrendering. Is that is that Max Lang, Al? Yeah, I think Max Lane is off the injured list and is uh, making his first appearance uh, in two years. Uh, Max was on the cross country team last year, taking a break from uh, high school soccer, but is uh, back out there for uh, his f first minutes after dealing with an ankle injury most of the preseason and season. Fantastic wow. man bun, too. I'd be remiss not to mention 
you know, Mahoney had some beautiful man hair last year as well. I mean, it's less, it's good to see on your team. It's good to see Max laying out there. Loves the loves the game since he's a little boy, a little kid. So now he's a senior and he's right up there, center, up top center striker. So let's see if he could have some fun out there. It's good to see him out there. Yeah, it's great to see him year. out there. Wilson's back as well. And Wes is now playing in front of. I think Wes went in for Bryce Lee, perhaps? I think Declan was uh, in between. Oh, in between there. Okay. Number 20 in Peabody is down holding his. It's Eduardo Ferreira. It seems to be holding his ankle. Hopefully, he just got kicked or stepped on. It's going to be okay. Too many injuries these days, Chris. I like to see the kids being able to stay out there. Nicely taken down by Max Lang. A great hustle by uh, number 18, Nathan Braz, to win the ball back for the Tanners. They did drop everyone back, it seems. On our, on our squad, on Beverly's squad, the windbacks are playing almost back of the defensive line. Max Lang. Max Hemsey with a with a ball to nowhere. Good job Daniel by Max brings Lang. It down to Wilson. Wilson kicks it to Peabody. Ian Viznik has it, settles it, makes a move, makes two moves. Oh, Finds nice West. pass out to the wing to Wes. See if he could serve it. Finds uh, Max Lang. We're going to have a hit here from Owen. No, defended very well by number four, Anthony Forte. Bruno on the outside and Aru uh, Aruda coming on the left side. Here he comes. Paulo's there. Trevor's fighting. Paulo's got his back. Peabody talking about being held. Their bench anyway. Beverly defense wants the ball to be wants to be released from there. There you go. And it's cleared. John and Rudy getting up slowly from uh, that foray into the box. Looks like he's holding the side of his face there. Yeah, Hopefully sure. he's okay. I'm sure he's fine. I think he was taking a shot at a PK. Number 24, Aiden Pace back in the game for the Tanners. Going to be a free kick for Beverly. Misha taking the free kick. About 42 yards away from frame, being taken by Misha Creekin. He passes it through Ian on a dummy over to Owen McCarthy, who shoots and is blocked. This could be a counterattack for it, but Paolo with a great slide to hold things up. And great, great, great work by Owen McCarthy, who draws a foul. Fantastic. Uh, that had some danger written all over it if Peabody got loose on the counterattack. But great defending by Owen in the middle. And Paolo. Max with a little space. And kicks it to no one. Not sure what that was. And yeah, he's probably trying to wrap his foot around it and bend it in, just got a little bit away from him. Yeah, you give him too much credit. Well. <laughs> My theory that he's he, on the he, take. He knows that Coach Al is always on his side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big run. A lot of room there Bruno's for number there four, Anthony Forty. Chips it in. Dangerous ball there. Still in danger. Ian Viznik uses his body expertly to clear that away, but again recovered by Peabody back into the midfield. Jaden Phil the same with a great move, fighting off Daniel Weil. A great help by Max Hemsey, who controls the ball. Ian uh, Viznik with an errant pass. Looking for Daniel Weiler. Jaden is pl playing everywhere right there. Paolo's there. Whoops. Hemsley would have slipped. 
Bruno in. Trevor's there with a kick. 40 Max. brings it down. And there's Max Lang clearing it out of bounds. Peabody. Peabody throw in. Got under five minutes left yeah, on the I, first half. Uh, clock usually after this time goes on to the field. I'm not quite sure that it the scoreboard clock was stopped during the timeout. So I wouldn't be uh, surprised if there's just a smidge uh, more left. Not sure if they stopped it for the goal as well. Good defending again by Owen McCarthy. As Peabody advances the ball, looking for that short pass. Well Ooh, done. Wes, what a Wes nice has stolen it and has picked up a foul. Beverly will have a free kick uh, from inside the center circle. Trevor's going to take this ball, who's got a got a got a good boot, so he can make a play in the box, wherever the defense lets you get let you get down to. He'll definitely be able to get it there. Trevor's really showing his versatility today by moving back into that center back spot on the right. That's for sure. He's playing very well. Very very well. Because that boy, that that kid, uh, what is his name, John Aruda, is a fantastic player. So oh, at Trevor's going to have dreams about that boy's touch probably for a couple of nights. One thing about Trevor is he can play any position on the field and he will he will give you a maximal effort. And I think he has this year. Anthony Ian Forty Fisnick with a move. defending. Ian knocks that out. Holds up Anthony Forte from advancing. Aiden Pace throws it in to Jaden Philosame. Ian Visnick with another steal helped by Daniel Lyle but Peabody recovers. Again, uh, both teams working extremely hard to get the ball back. The Peabody Pe faithful don't like they don't like too much possession. Seeing, I guess <laughs> <laughs> this is a unique perspective broadcasting from here in the middle of uh, of the hostile territory. <laughs> I guess that's the half. Really? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> so uh, evidently, that, was that is surprise. the half. That's a surprise to all of us. Okay, with 10 minutes on the board, there'll be a 10-minute halftime. Uh, this is Al Visnick and Chris Hemsey from uh, Frank Forty Field at Beverly High School. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a break here during the halftime with the score. Your host, Beverly Panthers, won, and the visiting Peabody Tanners, Zero. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Welcome back to Frank Forty Field here on the campus of Beverly High School for second half action between the hometown uh, Peabody uh, Beverly Panthers versus the Peabody Tanners. Uh, Chris, entertaining first half, good high school soccer, uh, runs a possession by both teams. Felt like uh, Peabody got the momentum going after Beverly got the early lead. Hundred percent. I think that uh, Peabody throughout that half fell into their style of ball, which they're clearly very comfortable with. Very, very patient through the back and midfield, waiting for very talented and fast strikers to make that run. On the counter of that, our defense has, has, known, know, has seen that coming, and they've defended very well, protecting yep. a one nothing lead. Like we talked about uh, earlier, you know, the defense being the strength of Beverly, and uh, the possession oriented and ability to finish for Peabody. So, should be an interesting second half. Wilson DeLeon in for Ian, Ian Williams. Ian's oh, able to there. keep it in. He needs some help. Hemsey with he the has Mac Hemsey who chips it into the middle. It. And Ian Visnick's going to take a hit, and that is going to go wide. And it looks like a goal kick there, just, just by a couple of inches. 
Yeah, Ian struck it with his left foot, didn't quite get it all. Kept it on the ground, but wasn't able to pick up that far post. They play the short ball. Here comes Jaden controlling it, seeing what his team is doing. Beverly allows him to do so. I like the idea of the short ball. Keeps possession with Beverly not pressing. There's no danger of losing it. Yeah, and you take away the 50-50 ball. Aruda flicks it up ahead for 17. Defended by Trevor Gilligan, and I don't. I think that's going to be a goal kick, Chris. Should be a goal kick. Yeah. Was that uh, Johnny Elves that he was battling with there, number 17? Beth has not made a signal, but we're we're going to follow the, the lead of the players. Yeah, Ryan Elves, one of the Peabody quad captains, along with Nathan Brass, number 18, Kyle Labeo, number 19 and the injured uh, Victor Maciel, who we spoke about earlier with an unfortunate season-ending in knee injury. Bryce Lee defending, and he has won the ball back for Beverly. Great defending against number Trevor four, Anthony Forte. Too. Let's see if he sends one to Mateo. Trevor Gilligan with the throw, up to the head of Wilson de Leon. Mateo Buonanno fighting there with Nathan Brass. Ball has gone out, won by Beverly. Good defending on that side. Misha had him on that, or he, he was on the call. Throw in Ian is won by Peabody. Paolo up to Ian in the air, taken down by Forte. Mateo working hard, Bryce Lee working hard. Oh, nice bicycle kick. Taken down by Trevor Gilligan, who has been pushed to the ground. And I don't know who number 27 is, but Aruda. I don't. Oh, Aruda. That's their boy. And helped up with true good sportsmanship. Here comes Peabody with a cross in, cleared away by Trevor Gilligan over to Ian Williams, back to Mac Hemsey, who chips it up, spins for Ian Visnick, who passes it up and out of bounds. Max Lang coming off the bench quicker in this set than the first. I wonder if someone got hurt or what coach sees, but. Max did give some good minutes and pick the energy a little bit up when he came into the game. So there's a hit, just goes wide. Matt Roy will take the goal kick. To Paolo's head. Nope, Matt gets move. it out to just short of midfield. Is that Daniel Wilder or is that Max Lang? Max, Max Lang. Max Lang went in for Hemsey. Hemsey. Oh, he went. To, Max went to the, the back, or he's in the outside mid. I think if we're still in that uh, three-four-three. Although they are kind of man-marking Bruno on the outside. Bryce, Bryce Lee Wilson. picks it off. Ball up ahead to Wilson De Leon, who's one-on-one. -on -one. Wilson takes the ball out, still stays Someone with it despite the help. 1v3 and the ball is deep in the PBDN and will be a throw in. Some good work there for Wilson, group defending by Peabody. Looking for a long throw from Bryce Lee. Headed by Paolo. It's going to take a hit and be just a bit wide. Good contact. Kept hit it, it well. Down. Kept it down. Hit it well. Just a few feet wide. I think he was surprised being a defender. He doesn't have that too many of those right. opportunities off his foot. Peabody right, Peabody plays it short again. Stay short. They spread out very well. Keeps it wide. Well defended by Trevor Gilligan. Peabody uh, continues to look for their 
Number one offensive threat, John Arruda, number 27. Pass to Johnny Ailes. Arruda looking to get it back, but he's stymied by the Beverly defense. Owen McCarthy up to Mateo. Ryan making a run. A little bit too much juice. Ryan was right there. It was just he a little. just needed to bend it a little pass. bit more. Yep. Good uh, idea. Good, good job by the um, Peabody goalkeeper, Paul Drillin, to get off his line and to corral that in. Owen McCarthy creating some havoc up there. And he is called for the foul, evidently. I'm not quite sure why advantage wasn't played there with the ball on John Arruda's foot, but Beverly needs to turn around and pay attention to this now. And right back on his foot. <laughs> Bruno with a shot, picked up by Matty Roy. A little bit ambitious from that distance. Handled well by Matt Roy. Ryan Alves takes it down. Battled by Misha Creekin. Here comes Peabody again, picked off by Bryce Lee. Nice little pass to Owen McCarthy. Gets the ball over Ooh, the top for Yian Williams if he can corral it. Belly's going to need to fill in, though, to give him some options. He goes for goal. Goes for the shot. Again, ambitious. Easily handled by the keeper. Thought there might have been some options there for a shorter pass in, especially the run that came down yeah, Max in the Lang middle of the field there. for Max Lang. Max Lang works hard to get that ball from John Arruda. Trevor Gilligan has time. Boys are talking. This could be a trouble. I think he should have found a teammate there. Yeah, especially where he had time. Yeah. There wasn't the need for that pass at that point in time. Goes Arruda again showing his skills, and he's fouled by Owen McCarthy. You can certainly see why he has 11 goals at this juncture of the season, Chris. Absolutely. I don't understand why they're not. Not making anyone get in front of the ball. Yeah, no wall at all. We're going with a one-man wall, which is, I'm not quite understanding this one either. Why we, why we don't have a wall is, Matt Roy punches it. It's kept in by Beverly, unfortunately. Paolo gets it. And he clears his line up the wing, which is going to be too far for Wilson De Leon, and that'll roll out for a Peabody throw-in. Peabody working the ball around the back. Now through the middle. Defended by Owen McCarthy. Watch the run right there. Yeah, there it is. Jason. Jaden. Good idea. Try to get something going with the outside back of Peabody. Jaden Philosame with a great run. I would still say that in uh, just about the 10 minutes or so, Beverly's still playing on their heels here. They're not, they're not bringing their sense of the game to the match. I think they're reacting off what Peabody's doing to them, which is really just, I mean, it's a tough way to play. There's a ball up the wing for Mateo. Just knocked out of bounds by Jaden Philosame. <laughs> Throwing gonna be taken by Max Lang. Into Ian Visnick. Keeps the ball, gets it back to Misha Creekin. Finds Owen McCarthy in the middle. One touch pass, just a little bit over Ian Visnick. Contested by Max Lang, and that is going to be. Uh oh, is Max down? Yeah, Max Lang seems to be down. Oh no, we hate to see that. Hopefully it was uh, just a kick and not a re injury. Daniel comes in for Max Lang. All right, he appears to be up on his feet. P 
Peabody throws it in. Here comes the runs. Bruno's looking for the run. Oh, and McCarthy oh, hitting the noggin with that pass. Wilson Great defending by Wilson fight. De Leon. Beverly Fowle could have been whistled on a number of people on that, <laughs> <laughs> that scrum. Thankfully, you don't have to specify. <laughs> Trevor Gilligan uh, called for a push in the back and he had an insult to injury. The ball, I think, hit them in the face. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad one-two punch. Uh, that is in a dangerous spot, uh, just under 30 yards out. Hopefully, Beverly will make a wall this time, make them shoot around that. And a lot of people standing around the ball. Looks like Aruda will be taking the free kick. Got a four in the wall. Hugo Catino also standing nearby. It's a dangerous spot. Keep him off. Yeah. Over the bar. The stop, the start. I'm not sure what was happening there. Unless he wanted Beverly to drop back so he could keep his boys on side, but then ultimately went for goal. So maybe the change of pace worked against him right there. Okay, goal kick for the Panthers. Matty Roy putting a big foot into it. Ian goes it. over half field. Ian Visnick attempting to find Yayan. Daniel's also over there. Peabody controls it. Little pressure from Wilson De Leon. Peabody calmly handles the ball in the back. Way too much space. Fantastic defending by Misha Creekin right there, Chris. That Using his body, his speed his physicality to just ride it out and ends up in a goal kick for the Panthers. Just, that's a great, great piece of defending right there. Absolutely, Misha could maintain that speed for a very long time as well, which is, which is he, awesome to watch. Ian Visnick has the header, but Peabody evidently has fouled him. It's gonna be a free kick for Beverly. Ian eyeball on the team, see what he's got. Bunch of action on the 18 yard line. Oh, and a little short for a rebound maybe. See what happens, see what Ian sees. He launches it in. Ooh, Could be a dangerous ball. Oh, just uh, narrowly avoided the foot of, was that Mateo? I think Mateo boxed out by Anthony Forty. And, Old uh, school hoops move right there. Picked up by the keeper. Yep, Good yeah. win by Misha over to Ian. Ian has some time and space. He finds Yayan, who finds Mateo. There you go. Back to Owen, a little chip. Bryce with the step, trying right to, to find Ian. Ian to Wilson's foot. Wilson's trying to make a play to Yayan. A little too much juice to the keeper, who plays it quick to his backs. Uh, the pressing so important that everybody goes in the right direction to make it effective. Unfortunately, a header over the head of he Trevor Gilligan. Paulo recovering, though. And Misha coming out the other side is going to have to kick it over the end line with uh, Ryan Alves on his back. He really had no other choice but to do that. Guess what they got, Peabody? What do they got? A corner they kick. They got a corner kick. First one of the half. That's it. Took, takes 16 minutes on this half, which is good. All right. 
Beverly has a man on the near post. He has Paolo floating in the middle just outside the six. Everyone else is man marking. What a ball at the top of the box. It's the old dummy play. The old dummy play. Have not seen that in several years. He's offside, I believe, but not going to matter. As it harmlessly goes to Matthew Roy. Chris, that uh, dummy play uh, used to be a staple uh, many years ago when my daughter played here at <laughs> Beverly High School on the girls' side. I'm not uh, there's sure. a punt. I'm not sure why everybody backs off on that, but Peabody has the ball again. Defending now in the middle. Good defending by Trevor Gilligan, who makes a nice turn. We need to pass out. Wilson turns. He finds Mateo. Tries to slot it through to Wilson. Just, just misses the connection. Bryce Lee in. Oh, Ryan Al's almost sending a through ball. There's another one. It's going to be problems. Oh. John Aruda with the score. Ryan Al sets him up with some neat footwork. But Beverly had the ball over midfield, needed that one extra pass, and lost control. Uh, dropped pretty dramatically, gave Peabody a little bit of extra operating space. And uh, time and space is the killer. Yep, absolutely. 22 minutes left, that and Peabody is equalized. A hot mess on the Beverly side, but just as beautiful if you're on the Peabody side there. Yeah, very well done. They worked it right from the back line to the front. Extra passes and got it to their stud with an easy goal. Federico okay. coming in for Wilson De Leon. That ball was just ahead of Hugo Catino, and it will be turned over to uh, Beverly on a throw-in. Uh, real important, Chris, I think these next few minutes that Beverly find its feet again. I think there's a two-handed push in the back that should be called and was. Yeah, they got to find something here. Beverly with an early goal, holding on. Had a couple of opportunities, but far and few between to get that second goal. And then the surrender with 20 minutes late. They're going to have to recompose themselves for the final 20 here. Big free kick by Trevor Gilligan into the box. Way up there and won by, I think it was Kyle Lobeo. I'm not sure. Again, here comes people. They're very smart out there. They don't need to just kick it into a crowd of people. Make the easy passes and get it to your stars up top. Good defending by Trevor and Bryce. Over to West, back to Owen. Back on the outside to Bryce Lee, who was unable to keep it in, and it result in a Panther throw in. You consider that an unforced turnover there. He had a little bit of space. Coutinho. Into Forte, Bryce Lee with a poke, but Forte is able to recontrol the ball. Oh, sorry, Bruno Correa is number 14. My apologies to the uh, Peabody faithful. Mm -hmm. Ian Viznik in the middle of the field, looking for Bryce Lee. On the right side, Bryce backs up, gets the ball in. Yeah, it goes to Ian, Ian, who hits it one time just wide. Just wide by, by Ian finding Bryce on the outside here. He had some space, was able to set up a good opportunity on the 18-yard line. I'd like to see some more of that. Yeah, reversing the field like that. Trevor goes for the ball. It's over him. Aruda, one-on-one -on -one with Paolo. Trevor works back. Look at this footwork and a great save by Matty Roy. That's a great save by Matty Roy. Great footwork, great skill by John Aruda, taking on two Beverly defenders. 
And a great save by Matt Roy to keep this thing level. And Cressa, another corner kick for Peabody. I'm shocked. <laughs> Gonna be a corner kick on the other side. Oh, he gives him a goal, oh, kick, him a goal yeah. kick. I thought that was off of Yayan. I'm glad I'm wrong. That ball seemed to go in a little bit of slow motion when it was passed out the top. Uh, plenty of time for him to try to get that in. All right, Matt Roy with the goal kick. Rattles around, one by Peabody. Beverly contests in the middle. Peabody settling it down, wanting to control the possession. Looking for Coutinho. Defended by Bryce Lee and Trevor Gilligan. Ball gets back on the foot of Peabody's most dangerous man, number 27, John Arruda. Back to Hugo Coutinho, and uh, Bryce Lee was able to knock it off of him. Wilson and Declan coming back in. Looks like Bryce and Mateo are going to take a breather. Timeout, and Beverly. Looks like we got a timeout called by Beverly. About 17 minutes left to go in the half. 1 1 here. <laughs> well, for the Beverly fans, not real comfortable right now. Um, conceding the equalizer. Uh, feeling like uh, that uh, Peabody is uh, his possession is taken over a little bit, and then that all of a sudden that one chance comes out of uh, reversing the ball. Uh, Ian Fisnick over to Bryce Lee, and Bryce put a nice ball in that Yayan just shot wide. Uh, Beverly's going to need to regain possession and try to just keep the uh, the field tilted back down the other end. But they've had their hands full uh, for a lot of the game. Uh, it's what we knew about Peabody coming into it, Chris. They're a possession-based team and with a very talented finisher up top. Uh, we knew Beverly was strong defensively. They've been bending but not breaking. Uh, started the beginning of the game out with high pressure. After about the first 20 minutes, looks like that they dropped back and decided to defend deeper and uh, have stayed that way up till now. Yeah. Get some opportunities up top, but they haven't been able to really capitalize and, and get any kind of numbers up there using their middies and their strikers against the, the looks like the four back of, of Peabody. Yeah, I mean, you know, talking about Peabody's ability to possess and uh, to finish, they are a very good defensive unit as well. It's, it's a good football team. It's, yeah. a, it's a good high school soccer game. It's a good high school soccer game uh, being competed well on both sides right now. 100%. Okay, Beverly is going to uh, throw the ball in once play gets resumed here. Trevor Gilligan with the throw in. Wilson DeLeon corrals it. He does a back hill or attempts a back hill that goes off uh, number 19. Kyle Labeo. Throw in for Trevor Gilligan. Trevor goes backwards to Paolo. Paolo pops it into the around 40 yards out. Brought down by Yayan. Over to Owen. That's a nice Good pass, pass to Yayan. With a little stretch of play here for the Panthers to Wilson. But the defending again in the middle of the field has turned the ball around. Number 27, John Arruda with a bunch of room. Declan McHugh coming back. Loses the ball. Ian Visnick up on him now. Declan, Ian, and I think we're going to get a hold on number eight, Ian Viznik, on that play. Going to result in a direct kick for Peabody. Kick's going to be taken by number 19. Kyle LeBeo with a left foot. 
He almost, Dangerous almost finds right the foot of, is that number 14? Bruno Correa? I believe it was. Another goal kick for Beverly. Trevor Gilligan off his back, trying to find Declan McHugh. And here comes Peabody once again. Declan comes back. They're crossing the ball over, trying to find the runner on the right side. I think that's number 18, Nathan Braz, who crosses it is in. Matt Roy has it, easily pulls it in for the Panthers. Matt Roy surveying the situation. Punt, hits, goes to Wilson, tries to head it on, but it's handled by Peabody. Wilson stepping back there, letting Jaden really do what he wants. Yeah, of course, as the game winds on and fatigue comes a factor for some of the Panthers, uh, Having that high pressure is, is, is going to be difficult to come back. They're just going to have to defend midfield in and try to minimize the chances. Aruder, another great job. Uh, Trevor Gilligan there getting his body in the way. Advantage is being played. I think the referee was going to call a foul. Aruda makes his way in again. Trevor Gilligan comes in. We got to turn. We got to kick away. Ian Visna, can he get to it? Korea gets to it first. Uh, Beverly's in need of kind of clearing their line right now. A ball's uh, taken there by Trevor Gilligan. Out of bounds. They do need to, absolutely need to sharpen up. Max there. Hemsey is waiting on the line to come chuck back in and give uh, the Panthers some fresh legs. Frederico defending, Ian defending. Peabody crosses the ball very nicely. There's going to be a shot in. Matty Roy will handle that. Beverly just looking for the path to put some things together to kind of control possession again. But as I said earlier, they've been uh, bending but not breaking defensively. John Arruda, 27 on the Tanners. No joke. What he can do with the ball has fantastic creativity and his body can do anything his mind tells it to do. Here's Wilson Beverly with a chance. Owen. Owen McCarthy coming Owen in. Got it. Oh, oh, that's a foul, sir. He's pushed from behind. He says no. Peabody with it, a fantastic tackle in the box from behind. Very surprised on that one. That didn't look that difficult, but uh, I've well, been called a homer before. The, the football tackle, not soccer. Trevor Gilligan with a great slide tackle. Frederico over the middle. Owen up to Yayan. One time pass to Wilson. Wilson, Wilson sees finds Declan. Declan McHugh on the right wing. Declan attempts to cross it in. And that's going to go off of bounds, out of bounds off of number seven. Beverly from, throw in. From Peabody. Hemsey going Elijah up top Loring. for Yayan. Senior captain Max Hemsey is back on. Here's Wilson with the ball. Back to Frederico. Tries to get it back to Wilson. Picked off by Peabody. John Aruda with the ball. A little bit of hold up play by oh, Beverly. Well Frederico done by Owen oh, McCarthy. He stepped up to make a play instead of just getting the ball. That's it, Trevor. Trevor with the tackle, very nicely done, unfortunately off Declan's foot. Some tired legs out there right now, Chris. Yeah, 100%. Probably have about 14 or so minutes in the half, and Trevor's probably had the hardest mark of the, of the Peabody squad. He has him again. Declan McHugh helping out, gets in front of Bruno Correa. Paolo's Paolo there, clear. Bounces, Wilson contests for it. It's going to be off Trevor. Some anxious moments here for the Beverly faithful as it feels like that Peabody just keeps coming. Here goes Beverly. Ian Visnick with the ball. He's shooting Sends a long Wilson one ahead up. for Wilson De Leon. Well defended by number 19, Kyle Labeo. Max Hemsey pressures. 
Jaden Philisane. Oh, nice step by Here's Daniel. Here's a by the freshman, Daniel Weiler, who looks for Wilson de Leon, and unfortunately, pass goes just awry. Works hard to get it back. Owen McCarthy steps. There's going to be a long ball over the top that Matt Roy should easily be able to defuse for the Panthers. Midfield punt. Declan McHugh gets a piece of it Five and goes Wilson. right to Wilson de Leon. Backs heels it to Max Hemsey. Just, just, just slow on, on uh, our guy Jaden, who's been ha having a, a heck of a game out, uh, d out back for them in the back line. All right, ball's bouncing around a little bit, but it's back to Beverly on the throw-in. Misha to Daniel. Off of oh, Daniel's off chest, chest, and chest out of bounds. And here come the Tanners once again with the throw-in. 40. Being Goes pressured Hemsey. by Hemsey. Owen McCarthy coming up to help. Ball's getting uh, down deep. We got Misha Creekin on the outside. Misha again with a fantastic tackle. Wilson, Wilson finds Declan. Declan has space. Gives Sees it to Ian. In the middle. Ian finds Wilson again. See if Wilson's got any kind of ideas going. Federico has one. He wants to find Declan, and we kick it out of bounds for no apparent reason. Bryce Lee looks like he's ready to come back on. Rested for the final 10 minutes. Arudo and Trevor with the common, common fight today. Declan with a turn. Wilson trying to be a little too cute with that. Gives the ball away. Trevor right up on the back of John Arruda battling. Aruda hits one over the top looking for Coutinho. Defended by Trevor Gilligan, who was able to turn and clear the ball up, is going to make. Wilson had. Had. The looks ball like he had it. And about 50 yards. Which would beg the question of advantage. <laughs> but that was not to be. Matty Roy taking it. He should probably be able to find the strikers, except I see four open Peabody guys in the middle. Finds and Declan finds McHugh, though. Barely. Declan wins it over to Owen McCarthy. Owen's able to keep it. Back to Misha Creekin. Out to the wing to Daniel Wilder. Does a good job of keeping it, finding Owen. Owen finds Wilson, his target in the middle. One's off to Matt Hemsey, Max Hemsey. That's going to be a move. corner kick, I think, for the for the Panthers. Corner Hasn't kick. been many of those. I would uh, personally try to find the forehead of Paolo. <laughs> you would never send Trevor up because uh, he's just he needs to rest for and, this minute or so. But and, he and has and a nice like in this six foot laser on these corner kicks. But yeah, yeah you, in this particular match, I think at this point in the game. Yeah, leave Misha and Trevor back. But I like Apollo's head. And it looks like oh, Owen has a nice ball off the corner. See what can happen. And there, Apollo is underneath. Oh. Ooh. So, so close. Uh, is he okay? Or has he got a cramp? Peabody uh, helping out Apollo's uh, cramp. That's great sportsmanship like right there, that. Chris. I mean... These guys have been competing today, getting after it. A big rivalry I'm game. I'm give a round of applause for this. But uh, that's what we like to see. Compete hard, show sportsmanship. Well done. No trainers or coaches are all that concerned. <laughs> Just two of the Peabody defenders <laughs> taking off his shoe. No, nobody from Beverly's helping. No one from... <laughs> No one from Beverly's helping, just Peabody. No coach, no trainer, just two Peabody okay, defenders. Okay, here, com here comes the trainer. Here's the trainer. <laughs> More interestingly is if he has a cramp and needs a. I would assume because uh, the, game. the game stopped, he's going to have to come out. Yeah. Uh, if you are. Edgar, I guess your chance, your 
decisions could be maybe moving uh, Bracely, Max Hemsey, or Ian Visnick into the center back role. I think he's going to do Ian slide back with Max Lang coming in for Ian's position as a holding midi. Maybe, I don't know. I could have made yeah, all that. Yeah, that, that, that's among the options, the way they're lining up right now. It could be, but we'll see. That's um, a long cramp. Paolo uh, logs a lot of minutes there at center back. He jumped high. Hopefully it's a cramp and nothing more. Yeah. He's been um, a real stalwart back there uh, since uh, coming to the squad. He, ru he rules the airways, as <laughs> they say. Uh, he does. He averages about 50 or 60 headers a, a, a game. And so tried to hop off, just couldn't. Couldn't. The... Uh, Maybe it might be time to drive the golf cart around and, and get, a, get him a ride back to the sideline. Maybe those two PBD defenders can grab the <laughs> golf cart. I mean, they're or very maybe nice they can kids. just carry him off. Just go. I mean, please. They're great kids. Uh, whether intended or not, and I'm sure not, uh, by our scoreboard clock, roughly seven minutes left, and uh, effectively another timeout and uh, another opportunity for, uh, I don't know if beleaguered is the right word, but the hard-working Beverly defenders to get a little break. Yeah, 100%. You know, it's a good time to just mention the last time <laughs> we were on the call against Peabody at Beverly, it was uh, somewhat of a monsoon blowing <laughs> sideways. <laughs> That is true. Speaking of which, hope everyone's safe down in Tampa, St. Pete. Oh, my goodness gracious, yes. I think my parents rolled to Fort Lauderdale on the, on the, on the east coast of Florida, which is good. It's, it was sunny there, so that's good. You know, I think a lot of our viewers are grandparents from afar. Percentage-wise, could be from Florida. Yeah. hope everyone's safe. Yeah, these 100-year uh, storms that continue to happen at an alarming frequency. <laughs> annual, the annual 100-year storm. Okay, we're going to uh, have some assistance for, pa for Paolo. Gets a nice hand from the crowd. I started that applause. I'm just all about sportsmanship, even well, though he's my guy. Certainly uh, well displayed by... Uh, the fellas from Peabody. Now Bryce Lee is in. It does look like, okay, so Misha. Misha's slide into the middle, but it looks like we might be going with four in the back with Paolo out. It looks like that Ian and Misha are going to play as center backs. I think so. And Bryce and uh, Trevor is full backs on the outside. So what are we doing here? We're doing... A four something something. Maybe uh, a four a five four, two four five one. With Wilson maybe being the only we one. We have uh, Jared Provost then, number eighteen. First look today. Jared's on the right wing back. Trevor finds him. Back to Trevor. Who sends it up out of bounds. Peabody ball. Here comes trouble. John Arruda defended by Owen. I mean, uh, Trevor and Ian. And, and, uh, and the beauty of that right there is just not trying to dive in. Ian did a great job of positioning his body so that Arruda couldn't turn his hips, especially with Trevor pestering him from the back. It's not always diving in and taking the ball, but making your opponent go where you want. That's yeah. well done by the boys. He no doubt felt Trevor coming up on him, and he knows that he's been playing hard all, all day. Wilson off Yayan's back. Ian steps up, gets a foot on it, sends it over to the wing. Hemsey Max Hemsey play. battling Nathan Braz. Beverly Ball. And Beverly Ball. Bryce Lee with the throw in. Over to Max Lang. Finds, finds Owen, Owen McCarthy. Finds the feet of Wilson De Leon. Back to Max Lang. Tries to find Wilson Max Hemsey, Hemsey, and that's going to be out for a throw-in, I believe. A throw-in.
Okay, sun's going down here at Frank 40 Field, making the sight lines a little bit easier. Bryce Lee with the throw in, finds Max Lang. Back to Bryce. Defended well by Peabody. And I'm not really sure. Must be a throw in, otherwise I don't think he would have pulled it back. Right, I'm not sure. Oh, they called oh no, he did pull it back for a kick when Peabody had the clear advantage and was, was huh, interesting. Okay. Maybe the ref doesn't know all the rules. <laughs> But most of them. Most of them. <laughs> He's got a working knowledge of the rule book. Misha up to Owen, who's fouled by John Arruder in the midfield. Who do we got? We got Misha taking it. We got some boys on the 18. Misha goes short to Bryce Lee. Up the Bryce wing. Lee gets by him. See if it. And Tries to find nobody. Max Lang. Max went a little left. Pass went a little right. And the danger man has it. Jared Provost coming back. Owen McCarthy. No, we Owen have Ian Viznik. Misha Creekin. The boys are defending. Misha it's takes uh, Johnny Alv uh, Ryan Alves into the corner. Misha clears the line, but not to anyone in particular. Peabody picks it back up. Jaden Fulisam again. Been saying that name an awful lot today. It's been playing a heck of a game. Peabody, the whole squad has, has been they, played they have very, very well. This is going to be a dangerous cross in. Misha, oh, Misha defends was... well, and Matt Roy positioned perfectly to pick it up. Uh, scoreboard clock has stopped. The final minutes will be kept on the field. So as of right now, it's anybody's guess how much time's left. And obviously, I guess at the end of the first half was wrong. So I'm going to guess four minutes and 37 seconds. Off the back of Owen McCarthy, sent uh, back down towards the Beverly goal. It's going to be a foot race. Matty Roy gets to the corner of his box and defuses that. So important for a keeper to get off his line. He can defuse so many opportunities uh, for the opposition. Very well done. It's a punt to the middle. Jared Provost gets his body in the way. Max Lang heads it high. Jared keeps on working. Back to Max. Trevor Gilligan with a deft touch down. Very well done. Picks his head up and is looking for Max Hemsey Long. Keeper comes off the line. And uh, exactly it's as I said there. earlier, the keeper coming off his line is so important in diffusing Bryce Lee a lot pops of the balls. Hemsey making it. I don't know how much room they got. Making a play off Peeves. I think off Peavity. Finding Max Lang. And we have a sub. We have... Wes. Number 23, Wes Roberts coming in for Bryce Lee. Don't tell the, the Tana defense, but Wes has an absolute missile right here. So they're going to try and find Whistle. I mean, Wilson. A long throw there in. It, it bounces. The ball's there. Ball's but there. Beverly is not. That, that throw in of Wes's was a weapon there. Beverly trying to get something, Almost trying yet. to get a shot off. Trevor Gilligan comes in, heads the ball in. Nice yeah, and that's good. Yeah, that's good keeps way to on come hustling. back to the ball. Ian's got a little space. 17's coming in a little hot, but he plays the smart play to your keeper. Play where your face. Sometimes play, it works. Play the way you face. <laughs> and here comes uh, Peabody again. Owen McCarthy steps up, and Trevor Gilligan once again clearing the ball away. There's a ball that's going to need to be one in the air. Misha's there to clean it up. Aruda has the ball again. Can't give this Being boy. defended by Trevor. He gets inside of him. Ian Viznik is the last man there to defend. Trevor gets back. The ball squirts around. The ball has hit someone in the face, Chris. I'm not sure who that is. I'm not sure either. Oh, he pops up. He's hopping up. Looks like he's going to be OK. Gets a hand from the crowd. I think that's number 19, Carl Labeo. Is that? I noticed not no right? one on Beverly helped him up. <laughs> <laughs> you no say one on that Beverly tended to his face. Tongue in cheek. Okay. Um, Peabody will sportingly 
throw, uh, I guess they won't throw it into the Beverly Keeper. It looks like the referee is going to just give it to the Beverly Keeper. And who did, who waiting was for his counterpart to uh, retreat. Time is back on. Was that Kyle LaBelle who got hurt? Who, who got, yes. He's played an excellent match. He seems okay. Ball's back in. Good work oh, in the middle by it. Owen, by Jared, by Ian to come back with the ball. Jared trying to find Max Hemsey on the left wing. Max is able to keep it in. And then it goes out. We have a substitute for Peabody. Peabody has a substitute. As the time clicks away. Contested throw in by Beverly. That could be a foul. Wilson De Leon into the back of uh, number four, Anthony Forte. A hip check. Wilson slow to get up and another cramp. <laughs> and <laughs> another assist from the, the Peabody the, the defense. Peabody, the Peabody cramp team is there. I think they should uh, start collecting uh, insurance cards and see if they can uh, get paid for treatment. But I do know his coaches and training is out quick on this one, it's, it's nice. I don't like the amount of space that, because I could also see Beverly, I mean, Peabody playing it short. Yeah, uh, just watching uh, who's over the ball. Is that Bruno Correa over the ball? No, that's Jaden, I Jayden. believe. Jaden. Looks like he was uh, motioning for his teammates to go down. Maybe he's aware of how much time is left. Referee's looking at his watch, probably answering the question from coaches and players. What are we going um, If we're under a minute, I would guessing that he's going to try to launch one into the box and see what right. he can do. Hopefully, uh, so Danny plays it short. This is the trouble here. Ian's headed head is away there. by Ian Visnick. That's going to go. Danny's there. Trevor and Arudo. Arudo takes a try. Nice ball. Matt Roy punches Matty it out. Roy with the play. Great play by Matty Roy. But Peabody is still coming. He got another shot. Oh, what a save oh. by Roy. Diving to his right. And a slide tackle out to Coutinho, who hits the ball. It's going to go wide. Matt Roy, man Matt of the Roy. moment with two outstanding that was saves. Fantastic. That was fantastic. And the final whistle. Wow. A hard fought 1 1 draw. Now I Chris, I have one thing to say. Go wow. <laughs> wow was <is> right. <laughs> I got to tell you, there were so many things I didn't say because I didn't want to jinx it. And I don't even believe in jinxes, but maybe Matty Roy did. I was going to say he had a fantastic frame highlighted by the last 30 seconds of that game where Peabody had some fantastic opportunities to put it in. I think you can look at both sides, uh, pick uh, many of the boys who uh, would be candidates for man of the match. Um, really great high school soccer, hotly contested. Big rivalry between uh, Beverly and Peabody. And... Uh, you know, probably a just result given effort, uh, but maybe a little, a little bit of good fortune that my, Matt Roy was between the pipes for Beverly today. Uh, certainly, in those certainly in those last couple of minutes there. I mean, he just controlled the back, especially with Paolo coming down. Fantastic game. Both sides were amazing today. It was a lot of fun to watch. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here from uh, Beverly High School with your final score: the Beverly Panthers won. The Peabody Tanners won. Uh, we hope you enjoy the game, and we uh, she'll be back on on Friday afternoon at 4 p.m. again here from Frank Forty Field when the Beverly Panthers take on the Masconama Chieftains. Chris, good working with you again. Absolutely, you too, Al. See you Friday. We'll see you. Thank you. Good night.